everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're filming a day in the life. That's why it's so dark, because it's currently 6.17 in the morning. I'm now off for a 40 minute easy run. I've got to be back in good time before my first climb of the day, which is at 7.50. I'll take you with me on the run, uh, then I'll catch up with you when I get back. First things first, electrolytes. Okay, nice, easy 45 or 40 minute run. We'll see what time's like down the canal. And I'll see you about a couple of K in. Just coming up to the canal now. I'm gonna do 4K out, 4K back. So, nice light K run. I haven't got much time this morning, so it will be longer, but not feeling too bad. Well, it's feeling a bit ropey when I don't eat before that. But, this purpose of this run is just to get miles in ahead of the marathon, so we get that in. Heart rate's right around 145 paces, about 530 k's. Again, super easy. Just getting the k's in before everyone else wakes up. Just past the turnaround point, so 4k back now. Then we're in the ice tub, so I'll see you then. Okay, so that was. Uh, five miles at 8.35 minutes my place. Average heart rate was about 148, 150. Job done on that. Off into cold tub for three minutes to recover straight away. I always get into the cold tub first thing usually. However, if I'm running early on in the morning, I will get in after the run. Otherwise, I just end up feeling too stiff and feeling as if I'm gonna injure myself. But as I said, if I'm gonna do anything else in the morning, I'll be doing the cold tub for three minutes first thing before anything else happens. I find doing this every day does help with my recovery, but the main benefits I feel are psychological and discipline orientated. Obviously you've got to muster up courage to get in there every single morning. I also focus on breath work while I'm in there. So I kill sort of two birds with one stone, a meditative benefit and a physical. That's about my 40th day, doing that every day. Still, by far, the longest three minutes of your life. Due to poor planning and being in a little bit of a rush, I had to have cereal for breakfast just to replenish carbs after the run. I then had my first in-person client of the day. Here we are warming up to smash legs. So PT session done, it's currently 8.50. Uh, I'm gonna get on with some client work to answer any questions I've got on Fitter and answer any WhatsApps from one-to-one -one clients. First of all, apologies for the extremely high angles. The only way I'm getting shot in this room. Um, the morning will typically consist of a little bit of client work to begin with, breakfast, and then some calls with one-to-one -one clients. I haven't got any of those today because I've got a busy afternoon. So I've got to go and meet with the company, which is exciting. I'll take you along with that. I've then got to go and do the CrossFit Open workout because that's this weekend. I've got to go and get that done today. And then I've got to go and film a podcast. So I'll see take you along on all of these ventures and show you a little bit of what happens along the way. So as mentioned, later on I'm going to take on the open workout. The workout is 14 minutes, as many reps as possible, 60 cal row, 50 toaster bar, 40 wall balls, 30 power cleans at 60, 20 bar, 20 brick muscle ups. So I'm going to pack my built for athletes bag to 
prepped me for that workout because so I'm going straight from the meeting to uh, the gym to go and do that, that workout. So I've gotten prepared, so now's the time. First thing first, then I've got wrist straps. I just wear these to kind of keep the sweat from entering my hand and playing with my grip and stuff because there's a lot of grip in this workout, so that's important. There you go, in the front bit. So many fucking compartments on this bag, it's insane. You can fit everything, basically. Okay, grips, next most important thing, clearly we're doing loads of toaster bar, loads of bar, loads of ring muscle ups. You want to keep your grip as intact as possible and you don't want to be ripping at all, so you want to protect your hands. So they're going in, good to go. Next thing I might have on loosely then is my belt, again, built for athletes. Um, super really good belt, this, to be fair, it's, it's actually awesome quality. Um, I might wear this light, lightly, so loosely around my stomach, just to make the power cleans feel that little bit lighter, clearly 30 reps, I don't want to be sacrificing anything if I can make it feel a little bit easier, I will. Okay, and then the next thing I won't show you, but I'm gonna pack some pre-workout, so caffeine, that kind of thing, carbs. I'm going to pack some food, because I'm, go I'm going for a meal with the um, Bill Prathletes crew, but I might want something extra just to have just before the workout. Uh, I'll pack my headphones for transit. Oh, and a change, change of clothes. Actually forgot I need to leave room to take the tripod and the camera with me, so it's a good job the bags have a little bit empty. So, off to Built for Athletes meeting. It's weird, I feel like I'm going on like a cross between like a first date and an interview. But obviously it's just a lunch with the people from Built for, Ath Built for Athletes. Got everything packed to go straight to CrossFit Digbeth after that and hit the open workout. So on the way, I'm gonna go grab some caffeine. I've got some carbs and electrolytes in the bag. All my clothing and that sort of stuff and my gear. Right, so I'm gonna change straight away. Hit the workout, come back. So strategy wise for this open workout, I don't really know, haven't hit much in the way of 14 minute AMRAP style for a while. So I think I'm gonna go 1200 calories an hour on the row, try and stay in manageable sets on the toaster bar, singles on the cleans, and then just see what happens on the muscle ups. I haven't done ring muscle ups for ages a couple of months probably now we're talking so it's going to be interesting we'll see how we get on so arrived at the car park outside custom factory in birmingham where i'm meeting built for athletes i've just dropped my fucking airpods which is rather frustrating but when i get in there i will I think it's about two hours meeting so after that i will come out and explain what went on so that's the meeting with the Built for Athletes guys in the bag. Some quite exciting stuff in the pipeline to be fair, but nothing I can really tell you about. So um, I'll leave that there. It's actually running quite smoothly. It's currently 2.23. I've got my open gym slot booked for three o'clock. So I'm gonna drive to the gym, get changed, get ready, and then I'm gonna hit this open workout. Boom. So I actually felt pretty good on this. The row went a lot quicker than expected. However, into the wall balls and the power cleans, the front of my shoulders slash triceps started to fatigue a little bit, which then carried over into the muscle ups, I think contributed to the reason why I couldn't finish the workout. I did only do this workout once, and if I was to do it again, I'd probably just break the wall balls up a little bit more and potentially slow it down on the clean just so I had a little bit more gas left in me for the ring muscle ups. But as I mentioned already in the video, I haven't done ring muscle ups for a good few months, so I wasn't too disappointed with 17 out of the 20 reps.
So, open workout, 23.1 in the bag. Didn't quite get to 20 muscle ups or finish a one round. I did 17 of the 20 muscle ups, but considering I haven't done muscle ups in probably three months, not too disappointed with that. Um, didn't feel too bad, to be honest. Just getting stuck on the muscle ups, obviously, slowed me down, but I'll see you at home. Just like that then, we're back in the car to drive 40 minutes to go and record a podcast, episode three of Lifting the Lid. Currently just getting the artwork done and the intro for the video podcast done. And then it'll be, it'll be uploaded the first episode one week and then we'll just go weekly from there uh, until we've run out of episodes basically. And we'll keep recording them as and when we get the chance. But yeah, so 45 minute drive over to Kings Winford where I used to live, record a podcast, chill out a little bit and then we'll be back in and that'll be the day done. Thought I'd speed this up here, we're just setting up to record the episode. As this video comes out, we're currently four episodes deep. The link will be in the description if you want to listen to that on Spotify, Apple Music or YouTube. There we have it then, day pretty much in the books. I'm going to sit and scram the Wagamama's behind me because I'm well under on calories. I'm now watching Reacher, which is apparently fantastic, so I'll keep you updated there. And I'll round the video up tomorrow. So guys, hope you enjoyed that day in the life video, running through a day and running a business, training for a marathon and meeting with people in terms of social media and all that sort of world and what goes with that. If you want to see more of that and sort of weeks in my life, more sort of days in my life where I'm doing other things, bang in the comments and drop this video a like so I know you enjoyed it. Other than that, drop me a subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.